Yo, what's up guys? We got Poe Game here today. Today we're bringing back Frostmoth Rain. It has been a minute since I used Frostmoth, but me talking about it last week in my Pokemon that need buffs video made me want to use it again. And once again, I am asking Game Freak, can you bring the roost to Frostmoth? But shout out to Big Barnes for the team. If you guys want to check out my website, pokemon.com. Let me go over real quick. But we have Quiver Dance Frostmoth with Giga Drain plus uh, Weather Ball. Weather Ball obviously lets you hit fire types like Heatran. Under the rain. Uh, Ice Beam hits really hard based off of the 125 special attack, and Giga Drain is good for recovery and beating Tapu Fini. We have Pelipper for the rain, obviously, and Barraskuta. Those are your givens. Um, you don't always have to run Aqua Jet, but it's good for picking off, like, like Weakened, uh, Weavile, or anything like that, especially outside of rain because it's faster if it's Jolly than my Barraskuta if rain is not there. Uh, Blissey for teleporting action, nothing else really, just to get in the threats. Toxic Bex for some T spikes, and then we have a Choice Bex Thunderous. Initially, this had U turn by Put Focus Blast because the team looks way too weak to Feral Thorn, and I'm not about to have 100 turns just to beat a Feral Thorn. So, uh, I'm going to hit a Focus Blast, and we're going to knock it out. I mean, the main reason to use this Thunderous over the other is one, it's stronger, and also two, it has the Volt Absorb, so that's cool for absorbing the, uh, the Electric type attacks. But uh, yeah, before we get a battle, no, before you watch this battle, a word from our sponsor. Oh, didn't see you there. Listen, as you get older, sometimes you got to shave your balls. But this can be hella intimidating. That's why today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. You can use code POKEAIM for 20% off. Because why would I use this? When I can use their lawnmower 4.0, which even has lighting, and cleanly shave them off, making them nice and smooth. Look at this little guy now is nice and trimmed. A little ball spot in the middle. That's how good the lawnmower 4.0 works. So take care of your body, trim your nose hairs, preserve those balls, and make them smell nice and fresh. You can use code POKEAIM, the link is down below. You get free shipping as well as 20% off and they even give you two free gifts. Oof. And the nice little pair of boxes that comes with it. So, care about your hygiene. Enjoy the rest of the video. Shout out to Manscaped, really. I've been using their products for uh, what, almost two years now, I would say. So, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, anyway, this looks like a pretty easy rain game. It also looks like Frostmoth can do work here. I love the fact that they have a Metagross. Awesome, awesome Pokemon. Uh, I'm pretty weak to pull if that's banded, but I want to get a brain early. That way my uh, Barrasquita just clicks because they don't have a real water resist. Like Dragon Ball is not a real water resist. So uh, Pelipper should just be good. Uh, great lead on the opponent's part. Oh my god, I thought for a second I didn't get rain. Uh, but we can go Thunderous here. The homie. As they click Reflect. Yo. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just going to Weather Ball because it won't kill. Uh, but Thunder it won't kill either. This is going to be very frustrating to deal with. But I don't think Garchomp can sweep me straight up, so I'd rather use it. This is really cool. So this is Dragon Dance Dragapult, right? I don't think Garchomp can sweep me straight up. So uh, I'd rather do this and then weaken them for Barrasquita. Even though this Mon is incredible in this game too, but I'm going to weaken them for Barrasquita. Oh, and they, they hella died of Barrasquita now as well. That's They're minus one defense, so I wonder if they're Life Orb too. Nope. Anyway, Barrasquita comes out faster. I definitely knock him out with liquidation, and I see no reason to flip turn here either. This mod is just a giant threat. Is my thing haze? Good, 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 good. So we'll bring out Toxapex now on their Dragon Dance, and we shall go for a haze. Man, that does some damage, bro. <laughs> that does so much damage. Uh, this is cool too, though, because I can knock them off, and that will break their sub. And uh, luckily it doesn't activate like a weakness policy or something because of the way. I just realized that knockoff is my only option. Huh. Doesn't matter. They're not going to do any damage to me. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to go for knock here. Because I think I can Aqua Jet uh, and knock them out as well. If I go out into you, you should hopefully die, Pelipper, right? Ooh, barely missed out on the KO. I think Scald will for sure break your sub though, and that'll put them in range of Aqua Jet. And this is good because even if I don't burn them there, which I mean, it's whatever if I didn't. Uh, Tox Specs can beat Blaziken. Not really. I need Pelipper alive. Wow, this sucks. This is the first game where Frostmoth is like, eh. But Aqua Jet sweeps, so 
I don't know why they're they're dancing again. Uh, I have Aqua Jet, so you can do whatever you want. I will Ice Beam you here. Goodbye. Goodbye, Frost Mod. And this is where the Aqua Jet comes into play. Like I said, Set of Sweepers, we can Dragapult, we can Weavile, dead. Perfect. Uh, this can still deal with a few members as well. I can haze the... Uh, I can haze the Hatterene. They end up going out into you. I'm gonna get a T-Spike just for hat, so that way I can like, flip turn and stuff, because you shouldn't be able to knock me out even with a Thunder Punch or whatever you want to go for. And I obviously have the Rocky Helmet on my side as well. I'm gonna recover up. I like the fact that they're weakening themselves as well, because they're putting themselves in the uh, the Metagross range. And Aqua just gonna be cool for just in case Blaziken was Sash or anything, so. Let me go ahead and get this. Ooh, nice power up punch. I respect I respect the grind. I respect their their willingness to do this. Really, I do. But yeah, basically I beat Hatterene at 1v1 anyway. Yeah, that's a wrap. Ooh, we're pushing back to the 1800s. It's been a minute. So, I mean, that one you didn't really get to see Frostmoth. Though it looked okay. To be honest, I should have just tried to set up in front of the... I, if I had Bug Buzz, I would have tried to set up in front of Zapdos. Because then Bug Buzz plus uh, Ice Beam would have been enough for their team. But, I mean, I didn't. So, also their Metagross was Power Up Punch, Thunder Punch, like what, Meteor Mash? <laughs> I like the set. Uh, that sounds like I said the Envy would suggest us to use on Agility Metagross. And I'd be like, and we failed to KO a Heatran because we didn't have Earthquake. <laughs> but, I mean, if you want that mid-ground between Ferrothor and Heatran, uh, it sounds fun. Oh, this is the person that always doubles to their Volcanion, which 6 owes us. That's awesome. Um... Loving Toxic Vex in this. T-Spike is going to be good, and obviously Blissey is going to be nice too for Volk and stuff like that, as well as the Thunder U. Uh, we're going to try and get up T-Spike early. I'm pretty weak to this Mon, I think. <laughs> you too, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty weak to Dragonite uh, without Scald. Mm. I'm not, I mean, Knockoff helped me, but I don't like non-Scald. I'm really weak to Dragonite. I think that Pelipper has to burn it. With Scald itself, but T-Spike are just really good here. If either forces a, D a defog or I get rid of an item on a Pokemon too. Uh, so we're going to go for T-Spike. Ideally, they just flip turn and take damage for no reason. I'm pretty sure Liquidation knocks it out from full from either Marasquita. So, yeah, we'll see how this ends up going. Also, like me knocking off Pelipper isn't going to be doing much either. <laughs> but yeah, we get a little bit of chip on them. I'm also pretty sure they died a Weather Ball from Thunderous, so maybe that'll make a difference there as Seismitoad comes out. Hmm, you physical or not? Hard Frostmoth! Hard Frostmoth right now. And again, even though I'm positive Melmetal is going to come out, uh, we're just going to do this just to weaken Melmetal because, again, I have a Tox effect, so it doesn't really matter. Um, they go for Double Iron Bash. Is that a Salt Vest? That only did 8. Tox effects comes in anyway. As they go for a nice little Earthquake there. Nice play. Do they have Thunder Punch? They probably do... Watch me, watch me risk this Thunderous right now. <laughs> Even though I need Thunderous in this game. Watch me risk it right now. No! Uh, I mean, this mod's going to be annoying. That's just it. This mod is going to be hella annoying. I guess they didn't have Thunder Punch. Or they expected me to go out into that mod, which is completely fair too. But as long as I weaken Melmetal, I can, I can do this. Do I not have Regenerator on my pecs? It doesn't feel like I have Regenerator. <laughs> I shouldn't have risked Thunderous. That was a bad play. I'm still going to try and Frostmoth them, though. Don't get me wrong. Perfect, 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 perfect. Perfect. That's a free Frostmoth Ice Beam if I've ever seen one. Especially if they try and U-turn uh, right now. So I get some damage. They could go back on to Melmetal. Uh, again, I, I struggle very much with Melmetal with this team. But every bit of hit on, uh, on them is going to make a difference, too. I wonder if I can Quiver Dance in front of Volcanion. Is that deadly? <laughs> like, is that is that dumb to try and go for? It might be. It might be. I think I'm going to end up having to Skull burn the Melmetal, which I don't like having to depend on that, or just weaken it a little bit more. Because again, Barraskita is always a threat to Barraskita as they go for Skull there. Just Weather Ball now. It's Melmetal. I mean, it, it knocks out something, so there goes Pelipper. So I might not have to deal with Rain, but I, I'm still thinking about how I'm supposed to be able to just Dragonite as well with this team. So I'm forcing the Pecs as they're going to flip turn here. I take a little bit more chip. 
Doesn't really matter. And there's Volcanion. Now, I'm going to be really sad when I bring out Blissey and I get 2 a KO by this Spec Steam Eruption. Whew. Luckily managed to avoid it there. Bro, I mean, it's, it's a move that misses. What do you want from me, dude? It is a move that misses. I don't know what you want from me, bro. I'm gonna seismic toss into what I'm expecting to be a Mel Metal because I need every bit of chip on that thing as possible. Tox effects on double iron bash. They could earthquake here or thunder punch. I need to weaken you, and I don't want them earthquaking as I go tox effects. Exactly. They could also still be sewer power as well, but I'm gonna risk my pecs right now. Um, Blissey deals with that, it'll be Seism Toad, it might even be Dragonite, shoot. And we already have Melmetal in range of my close combat, which also looks very threatening too. And I have Pelipper, which means I don't lose to Barraskeeta. I wonder if that also means I don't lose to Seism Toad. Let's see. So I do go for another Earthquake here. Hmm... gonna recover yeah I would rather them take that damage there especially because I can close combat now and again I'm not beating Dragonite without I'm literally not beating Dragonite without Skull burning it so we'll go for CC here like I've already committed to that Pex would just lose to it 1v1 close combat mashes this mashes this oh cool nicknames mashes this 2 KO is this mashes this mashes this Uh, without rain, can Volk, uh, Frostmoth is too slow, even at plus one. It is too slow. Give me Melmetal though, so I can have a chance, because all I gotta do is burn Dragonite. <laughs> all I gotta do is burn Dragonite, right? That is a lot <laughs> to do. Maybe there'll be uh, Ice Punch Dragon Dance too. They could also be Thunder and hur or Hurricane in the rain, which is mean, which would be completely fair, right? Like, they could be whatever they want at this point. But I have to knock out Melmetal if I want any shot of winning. Especially because I got those plays wrong. Okay, so D-Knight comes out. I break its multi-scale, which is really nice. Do you double to Volcanion here as I go Pelipper? I feel like you do. But depending on your Dragonite, you might just win the game right now anyway, so it doesn't matter, right? It is Ice Punch. Okay. So it's DD Ice Punch. Blissey is the sack. <laughs> this mod just don't give a damn, bro. It's insane. The fact that that mod is just eating every hit is insane. I'm actually going to try and just kill the Volcanion instead of... Uh, of anything else because I also don't want them going hard bear scudo as well yeah so we get some nice little chip on bear scudo if I sack frost I think frost might actually win <laughs> let's see if you I don't know if that mattered but uh, I think frost can actually win with Volcanion being that low Dragonite being there I'm pretty sure you need to hit from seism toad and Bear Scooter was the mon they needed in. So I think Frostmoth can win. How fast are you at Adamant? 371. It could be Aqua Jet or two. I think it makes sense for them to be Aqua Jet as well. It's because they pressure with Volcanion. Actually, Frostmoth at plus one is faster outside of rain. Okay, so... We're almost there? We are almost there. Depending on what they go out into. Also, Barraskuta can just win too soon. And I'm fairly confident they bring out the... Uh, they either go they go side to toe to either bait out my Barraskuta. Do I quiver in front of this? I feel like I do. I really feel like I quiver in front of that. Or do you go Dragonite to give me a free Frost Moth? I feel like you go side to toe always. So that way I'm forced to liquidate. That way you can bring out Volcanion after. Huh. Hmm. 
Frostmoth, are you strong enough, fam? <laughs> don't don't be showing me that. Twenty three. That's if it's max HP. That's if it's max HP, which means that if it's not max HP, I definitely kill. How much does Seismic Toss do? Let's see, let's see, let's see. 33 to 31. How much did it do when I hit it? Did I ever hit this ball with a Seismic Toss? Was that all just poison? Seismic Toss. Iron Bash. Close combat. <sighs> Whatever, Frost Moth. I can't quiver here because... Actually, can I quiver? No, 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 it doesn't make sense to quiver. It's not, quiver isn't a, a winning play because there's, if there were two turns of rain, I could quiver. But I'm pretty sure Steam Eruption does way too much to me anyway in the rain as well because it's specs, man. Oh my god, in the rain. Is Ice Scales calculated in this? 85 to 101, insane. Even if I get the plus one. So we'll Giga Drain there. We get rid of Volcanion, which means we could spam Water Move. I don't know if I KO Melmetal. Oh, you assault this. Twenty-two, 26%. All right, so I'm forced to go Pelipper here. Uh, can Frostmoth win me this endgame? I don't know because I need Rain to knock out Melmetal. It might be able to though. It might be able to because if if I can pick up the KO, like I think right here I get a guarantee KO on something, right? Because they flip turn, yeah. They bring out Sizem Toad. I'm gonna roost just in case Weather Ball does not actually end up killing me. They'll bring out Barrascuta and Liquidate. I don't know if... I don't know if Dragonite knocks out... Oof. Is this a dirty roll? It's a dirty roll. Hold up. Let's get rid of multi skill. No, I just got the highest possible. Okay, homie. If they double here, then they just sack size until after. If I Ice Beam into Melmetal, I'm going to try and Quiver, because if I can, I got to freeze, right? Like, freeze! <gasps> no! <laughs> ah, damn it. So if I, if I doubled there, all they had to do was sack this, uh, because I don't have rocks on this team. Good game. If I doubled there, why not just hit me with Earthquake? It, it definitely killed at 52. So if I doubled there, all they had to do was sack Seismic Toad after. Because uh, they, would just, they would just not let Melmetal take the hit. They'd sack Seismic Toad, then go Dragonite and do the exact same thing. Maybe after that I could double, potentially, but I think Dragonite would still be able to beat me. Maybe I'd have to double twice. I'm trying to think about the end game. Like, Frostmoth just... Wasn't strong enough. And if rain was up, then it didn't do it for me either. Oh, this is a spec thunder scheme if I've ever seen one. I'm excited for that. We're gonna get brain early in this one, because spec thunder just goes in. Same thing with specs age slash. <laughs> I think using uh oh please don't be freeze dry. Mm. Pelipper for sure. We want we want rain coverage so that way I could actually do damage to things. Might as well go for burn on talk specs too. Makes Barrascuta's life easier. It doesn't matter about like my rain turns being limited either. Nice. So I get a U-turn here. Blissey, because Blissey doesn't care about being knocked off. Not in this type of game anyway. I just teleport. Into Thunderous. Now if I'm Nasty Plot, in theory I win the game right now. I'm just going to go for a Specs Thunder though, and there you go. There goes your water resist. So, Barrasquito wins. Uh, also, Frostmoth looks way better as well.
Obviously, they bring out a big threat. I wonder if they crash immediately. I'm still going Pelipper, I don't care. Hmm. I feel like this is metronome. I don't I don't care though. I'm going to get up a T-spike for Umbreon. So that way I can beat it down. Uh, why do I also feel like I can win the game? I, I know I'm getting greedy with this. But I feel like I can win the game right now with, uh, with Frostmoth on this mod. But I think I'm going to try and set up in front of that. So what I'm actually going to do is let them beat me down there. I'm going to bring out you. I'm going to click flip turn on the Zapdos. And I'm going to quiver dance in front of Zapdos and try and win with uh, Frostmoth. I could also, in theory, just click liquidation and probably get a kill too. But because I'm they're definitely not Sash, not a knockoff Mammoth Swine. Yeah, I might as well just click liquidation, whatever. I know I just wasted my rain turns, but she flip turn into this lets me potentially win with this Pokemon. But that depends if they're unaware or not. And Thunderous always KOs Mons too, but it just needs to hit. Let me let me try a flip turn instead. Cool, cool, cool. So I get to bring out you and Quiver Dance up. I do have the weather ball so I can actually hit the uh that would have taken a liquidation as well. But I can actually hit the H slash in one hit, which is pretty cool. Please don't be sub toxic H slash. That'd just be annoying. Like it wouldn't actually beat Blissey or Toxabex, it'd just be annoying. Die. <laughs> die to this attack, Umbreon. You're fizz deaf, so you hella die. Yep. Nice. AG comes out. I suppose SD could be annoying. I can save this because it can hit Ice Beams off on Zap. Spec Shadow Ball would be the wrong play here, so I'm actually going to go talk Specs. Yeah. Because I did 13, which is like, <laughs> isn't that banded? <laughs> I feel like that's banded. This is fully Fizzlow. I hate using teams that, I don't know how to use teams, but 13 to 15. Okay, you can't kill me with anything after, so I'm just going to knock off. Yep, I knew it. Headcock's on deck. Get out of there. Oh, no, I barely missed out on the KO. Well, I guess it was enough for my opponent to uh, to not want to play the rest of the game. To be fair, without age slash, they struggled. Bear just came in. Stream earlier. Thank you. It's my mother-in-law's birthday. Happy birthday to my mother-in-law, by the way. Uh, it's my mom and laws e day today. I don't think I can. Big happy birthday to my mother in law. I want Frostmoth to do more than what it's been doing. I want it to sweep. It's so difficult though, especially with what's being ran. I feel like this should be, if this was Nasty Plot also, I'd be 6 0 with Thunderous more and more too, or I'd be playing it differently as well. I'm not a huge fan of uh, how this rain team plays. I understand why it's what it is, but. Okay, Frostmoth, they have a Scizor. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Pelipper, you turn out into Barrasquita. 6 0 everyone, right? Isn't that literally how this game goes? That should kill Mew. Liquidation literally kills everything in the rain. Unless you're Thunderbolt. And you know what? You deserve to be Thunderbolt if you're Thunderbolt. Bro, I want to say this thing kills, but I'm not trying to win this game with Barrasquita. Eighty-one to ninety-six percent. That's hella in my favor, and you know what? It just got out of my favor. Right there. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use Pex and knock here. That's fine. I don't think they have recovery either, so. I can beat Weavile as well. I'm just going to double knock. There's not a lot of mons that can set up here and, and, and beat me. Even with all them spikes up. Gengar comes out. I'm not sure why. I mean, I'll, I will gladly knock. Oh, it was Sash. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. 
I should not let Barrasquito take this hit from Hazards. I'm actually just going to go for Awesomeoth now. I would have eaten that up for for years. For years to come. I would have eaten that plus that. Yeah, easily. If that's plus two Shadow Ball doing that little, he easily I would have eaten that up. I think on Scissor we just click Haze unless they're a uh, Rock... Uh, uh, Sand Tomb, excuse me. <laughs> Freaking Envy. I just click Attack in front of whatever comes out. Except for you. The Bandit. No, it's not Bandit. 23 is too little. We go out to the Bird. And Agility up. It'd be a damn shame if you did. I think we sack Frostmoth here. A reoccurring theme. Yo, not being able to defog is so frustrating. I need boots on every Pokemon in the game. Ah, perfect. So that should die now. But I'm also closer to die. This will definitely die. But I'm also closer to dying to multiple priority attacks. Oh, never mind. They went hard, Scizor, which I can very much appreciate. They needed that mon. What do you do now? You just lose. You sash Weavile? You sash Zapdos? Like, what do you do now? You just lost. You had to take Rough Skin. You had to let me give Rough Skin on it. Uh, and then you have to Bullet Punch. And then you have to knock me out with Weavile and pray that you could win with Weavile plus Zapdos. Which it might have been, honestly, possible. Goodbye. This mod's broken. Sorry, buddy. Goodbye. <laughs> Yo, Rain is annoying. Goodbye. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> shout out to uh, shout out to Frost Mod though. Like I said, I definitely took plus two. I mean, do I have to show you the calc? Like I freaking resist the attack. Well, I don't resist, but it was, it was neutral. Actually, maybe I didn't because. Maybe Gengar didn't, right? Because the, uh... Yeah, it does the same thing. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Maybe it mattered. <laughs> it definitely mattered. I forgot. I'm part Ice type. Whatever, man. That's Focus Blast, bro. That's Focus Blast. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Today, I'm kind of like in a, like, a little off. I'm feeling a little off. So, I just wanted to chill live. Nothing to, uh... To really think too much. Like I said, I've been busy. So in the process of moving, uh, next month is when it really gears up. I'm moving to a different state. So, uh, what's my buddy Amir? Is this my friend Amir? God, this team is annoying to fight. Look at that mon, look at that mon, look at that mon. Are you hella weak to, uh, have fun, bro? That's my homie Amir. I'm assuming this is high impulse, Amir. I'm really gonna be dependent on this. I retire and I come back to battle. You have fun. <laughs> I'm really depending on Thunders in this game, man. I truly am. So I need to rain up early. Obviously, they can knock me off here, which is what I'm expecting. Um, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go Pex just to knock off their thing. I mean, them, me knocking off them doesn't actually matter, right? But I want to knock off other Pokemon instead. Uh, if I beat Tox Effects, I think Frostmoth can win, but then they still have Feral Thorn, I still have this to deal with as well. So there's a lot. And they also have, like, my T-Spike don't affect any member on their team. I wonder if they're Heat Wave, like the standard. Nice. Shed Shell. Ooh. That's no good. Is this Calm Mind? That is a problem. Blissey makes sense. I can teleport around. I'm about to get Psy Shock to hell and back. Mm, this is gonna be tough. I mean, with this thing being gone, I can I can win as well. Okay, let me just try one v one him. <laughs> Failed. I'm gonna bring out the thunderous right now. Do I Weather Ball or Focus Ball? I think Weather Ball kills, so I'm going for Weather Ball here. It's Specs in the rain. So we get rid of you. I lost Blissey. Freaking sucks, especially if this thing is banded. We're going to go Pax just in case they are banded. Because I can knock. I'll take Earthquakes for days as well, and we can knock something. Bring out Feral Thorn. I'm going to go hard. Thunder is here.
Oh my god, Amir's letting me hit with the specs. Oh my god, spec thunderous is nasty, dude. Ooh. Isn't this bad? A weather ball. <sighs> he got me. I think if I knock off their boots. T spike doesn't actually do anything. I'll defog away this spike. It doesn't actually hurt me, but it doesn't help me either. The annoying thing is that now I have to go back and forth between Toxapex and Pelipper. And now that Dragonite can actually beat me. I wish I spec stunned again. I can't let Thunders take a hit. And Frostmoth can win too, which is crazy. If I let Thunders take a hit, I can lose to Dragonite. So I literally have to go here and roost off and stall out some Scalds and stuff. You are not Hurricane, sir. Sorry, but... They don't be running that. And this is what I need. This is the uh, this is the situation I need. Actually, yeah, I flip turn. I was thinking about do I liquidate and try and kill Torn. But no, I definitely flip turn. Thunder for sure kills. I'm with the ball. Amir, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you outplaying me, bro? Thunder definitely kills. Thunder definitely kills. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't. Maybe this thing is spadef because it's taking nothing from Weather Ball. Oh, it is spadef. It is spadef. Yeah, it's taking, like, it's literally like. It's max HP. It's like max HP, max spadef. Why are you spadef Dragonite? It's not calm, obviously, but... Okay, so Thunder does not kill. Thunder does not kill. But it definitely two it KOs. I don't care if they go lander, so I'm clicking Thunder again. Okay, I think we win. <laughs> I think we win, because Thunderous is stupid. I also don't think this is Stone Edge, yep. Just defog. They're not really doing too much. Gold. Ooh, I should U-turn here and not take the uh, the extra chip. I feel like Amir had a. Uh... Just clicking ban liquidation instead of flip turn here. <laughs> yeah, especially with Torn coming right out. Also, a lot of Torns don't actually run max speed, so. Oh, this crap again, bro. This mod doing some damage. I'll roost up here. It was smart to get up rocks. It was very smart to get up rocks. I had Sacred Sword. Sacred Sword. Shiny. Shiny. SS. Soul Silver. <laughs> SS? What's SS? I'm trying to figure out what the hell SS is. What is SS? What's SS?
Gen A O U. Oh. Oh, Sword and Shield. Oh, I hate Sword and Shield. Oh, hate. Okay. I understand. In fact, I got a spam damn knockoff and. I want to get impatient so badly and just risk it on the thunder. I haven't used any recovers yet, so I'll use my first one now. And I can grass knot the thunderous tech. The uh... hmm. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll weaken torn a little bit to the point where I can at least specs weather ball it. I understand. This is they, they run heat wave by the way. It's it's knock off you turn heat wave defog. It's some trash. Got the frost moth we go. Okay, you know what? I'm about to commit. I'm about to commit, bro. I've had enough. First off, you're not knocking me out. Because <laughs> I have no item. Let me go for one more roost. Defog this away. We take scalds. If I can grass not landers twice, I can win as well, so. I'm go I'm bringing out Thunderous now. Yep. Good. So I have the opportunity to grass not twice. Obviously, I can't weather ball them. So we'll grass not right here. Awesome. I don't think Torn knocks me out <laughs> with any attack. Oh, I want to thunder so badly. It's a mirror too. I want to thunder so badly. I'm thundering. I'm a demon. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's only because this is high impulse, by the way. I would never make this play otherwise. We go bear scooter here because we can't let him double it back out into Lando. Can't let him double back out on Lando. Literally only the reason I'm Yep. Can never let him double back on Orlando, so I know I threw this game a hundred times, but I don't, I don't care. Like it's it's my boy Amir. I've played him since black and white, OU. I know exactly how he plays. Nah, buddy. Good game. Alright, so Thunder is Therian, definitely the beast. Uh that was fun. 1800 plus with Frost Moth plus Thunderous T. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, shout out to my homie Amir. If you guys want the team, check out the website, pogimdu.com. Towards the end, I just started making some like aggressive plays because I just... More so, I wanted to speed it up. <laughs> I just wanted to... I just wanted to speed this up. Thunderous, for sure. MVP. But uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Peace.